Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out this H&M brush set. So it comes in this super cute rose gold case, which makes it perfect for travel. So there are five eye brushes in this set and the handles on these are a super pretty sparkly pink. The color doesn't show up too well, but they are more pink in person. So the first brush in this set is this super fluffy, somewhat angled brush. Looks super nice for just a transition crease shade. Next up, there's this smaller fluffy brush, and this one is a little bit flatter as well. Next, there's this little packing brush, and this is a super flat brush, and it is a little more on the stiff side, which will be perfect for packing shades. Next is this little detailed brush, and just has a small little tip at the end of it. And finally, there is a small angled brush. And this once again is a little more on the stiff side, which I think will be perfect. So I'm excited to test these out. And then when you're done with them, you can just put them right back in the case, which I think is just so handy. So I'm excited to test these out. So let's get into the eye look. So for today's look, I'm going to be using my Tartlet Toasted Palette. I wanted to use this one because I know how the formula works. So to test out new brushes, I wanted one that I was comfortable with already. So I did already prime my eyes with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I went ahead and set that with the shade S'more from the palette. So the first brush I'm going to take is the fluffy angled one, and this is going to go into cashmere. And I'm going to use this to start my transitions up high in my crease. And just from the first impressions, this brush does feel very soft. I was debating a little bit if I wanted to actually film this video because like I brought these brushes in person in an H&M store and I looked for so long on their website and I could not find this exact brush set. They do however have a number of other brush sets on their website so I went ahead and I linked those down below in case you wanted to go check those out. I'm hoping that this just um, gives you an idea of how the other brushes will work. And so I did want to still test them out and use them in today's video. So, so far this seems to be placing the color on nicely and blending it out. This is a bit of a lighter shade so I'm not expecting it to be overly pigmented by any means. But it is doing a nice job of laying down the first wash of color. So the next shade I'm going to take is Warmth. And this is going to be on the smaller fluffy brush. So I just put this right on the very end of the brush. And this is going to go first tapped right in the outer portion of the crease. And I'm starting just by tapping this into the crease and then I will work on slowly blending it out and I don't want to bring this shade too far into the inner portion of the crease because I just want this to be a kind of light to dark ombre effect on the eye. So I'm just going to work on building this color up right in the outer portion of the crease and kind of dragging it out a little bit in a circular curved shape. Then 
Then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of cashmere and just blend everything together and make sure that inner portion is still pretty light. So I'm also going to take some more on this bigger fluffy brush and this is going to go in the inner portion of the crease just to lighten it up a little bit more because like I said I want the inner portion of this look to be fairly light. So here is what we are looking like so far. So next I'm going to be taking Cozy and I'm going to take this on the little detail brush because I want to try and see if this will work. So I'm first going to start by kind of drawing a line with this shade in the outer portion of the crease and sticking with that curved outer corner. Just draw the line onto there. This kind of seems to blend away. It could just be the fact that I'm using a very small brush. But I feel like I'm packing down the color and then when I start to blend it out, it just kind of disappears. But it is deepening slightly. I'm going to start bringing this onto the outer corner of the lid as well. And then I'm going to take that second smaller fluffy brush and see how this works with that shade starting by packing it on the outer corner and then blending it up so i'm just gonna go back in with the big cashmere fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out slightly Next, I'm going to be taking Fireside on that same small detail brush and doing the same thing, just a little bit closer into the lid. So just start by laying down this color in the curved shape and then dragging it onto the outer corner. I feel like this definitely works best to pat the color on first. So I'm going to take it on the big fluffy brush and try that once again. Trying to blend this into the crease a little bit as well. I feel like this shade started to look a bit patchy. So I'm going to go back in with the first brush and try and blend it out as best I can. Next I'm going to be taking Simmer on the flat packing brush. And this is going to go in the inner portion of my lid. And this does seem to be packing the color on pretty nicely. You can see the shine of the shade, which is what I really was going for. And this is a completely dry brush. I think that worked pretty well to pack the shade on. It could be a little bit more shimmery, but overall for a dry packing brush, it turned out pretty nice. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more Fireside to deepen up the outer corner once again and tap over the edges to blend the Simmer shade with the Fireside shade. I'm going to be taking this on the flat packing brush as well to see if this 
works better because I feel like it was just looking quite patchy on the outer corner. You can see there's a darker spot on the lid. I'm going to be going back in once again with the Simmer Shade and just tapping this over the edges to blend it a little bit more and try and get that Fireside Shade to look better. Then I'm going to be going back in with the first brush and just working to blend everything out. So I wiped off a bit more of the product on that detail brush and I'm going to take Sunrise. And this is going to go in my inner corner. It's not the most blinding shade. I'm going to take a little bit of candle and layer this on top to see if we can get a better shine in the inner corner. I don't know if it's the brush or if the shades just aren't that impactful, but I feel like I have definitely gotten these shades to look better in the inner corner. Next, I'm going to be taking that angled brush and more of fireside this is the last brush we have to test out and this is just going to go along my upper lash line and act as some liner so here is the look i'm going to go add some mascara and i will be right back so here is the final look Overall, I do like how this turned out. The outer corner was the only part of this that just seemed to have some trouble with being patchy and just laying down the color. Overall, the blending did work pretty nicely, especially through the crease with the fluffy brush. And I think my favorite three brushes were definitely these three, the big fluffy one, the packing brush, and the little angled brush. I think those ones just performed the best. The smaller fluffy brush did work pretty nicely. The little detail brush, however, was definitely not my favorite. I think the only thing I will ever use that for is the inner corner, and even for that, it wasn't super blinding. So let me know if you have tried any brushes from H&M. And also let me know what your favorite brand of brushes is. My favorite drugstore brand is probably Wet n Wild, but I do really want to try Sigma brushes. But those are a little bit more on the expensive side. So let me know what else you would like to see from me down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you would consider subscribing, that would be great. And with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!